is time again. What are we at now? 50, 53, 54, fuck, I don't remember. Um, so I want to start working on something a little different, all right? A little different formatting going on. Uh, you're going to see some uh, a clip that I shot earlier this week at the shop when I had downtime. <laughs> Here's part of what pains me on, I, I, I simmer everything, kind of boil it down and and distill it out and give you the simples on Sunday morning coffees. There's some things that at the point of intrusion, just burn my ass to no end. By the time Sunday rolls around, I'm all simmered and cool and happy and I don't have that many pressing subjects in my life to feel that emotional about it okay so let's uh let's make sure we understand that i'm not an overly emotional kind of guy that way um but uh we're gonna roll with this footage from this week all right check this out uh, underground one of our canadian brothers he you drew a minor aspect of concern, uh, shock, or um, not in a rude fashion. So don't, please don't, don't uh, bag on the guy. He's super cool. Does some great work. Uh, I watch his videos when when I've got time to sit down and, and invest the time to sit down and watch them. Um, Frankly, some of my videos get some get uh, long-winded, and we all do it. Um, my how-to videos, I try to knock them in, you know, 10 to 15 minute segments. That way, you, you can commit the time to watch through and, and move on with life. Uh, according to analytics, most people only want to watch about six minutes. So I don't know. I, I can chop them up smaller, make more videos. I don't know, it seems like cheating to me. <laughs> um, but I kind of wanted to just shout out to the guy, go check him out, Underground. Um, shucks. Ugh, let's get the handy dandy phone out. Because I know I got him in my list. I will hook you guys up with this cat. I see he puts out some cool videos. He had a Fairlane in there that he was working on. Uh, he does some really cool metal work. Um, Alright. Whoa. What the fuck? Alright, I just kind of want to plug this cat. I want to get it right. Yeah, Underground Auto 1. Can you all see that? That cat right there, okay? I've been subscribed to him since he started this channel. He had another channel prior and kind of got away from YouTube for a little while and come back to us. We've been blessed. Um, but he raised some concern. My foul temperament and, quite frankly, the language. Uh, my how-to videos. My how-to videos I really try to keep level, grounded, simple, and not... Uh, I, I really temper myself through those videos. Um, I think I got a foul mouth on video. Oh, lordy, lord. You guys see me in real life. Um, so I apologize if I shock, upset, or annoy anybody. Let me know. Talk to me. I'm an easygoing guy. It takes a lot more to ruffle my feathers than someone calling me out on some bullshit. Um, my vlog videos, such as Sunday morning coffee and some like uh, Friday wrap up. We did our first one last Friday. We'll do them every now and again. They seem to be well liked. Uh, it's no holds barred. Whatever. I, I, I the, the the filter between thought and expression is very limited, anyhow. And I just let it go at that point. Um, you know, sincerely, sincerely from from the bottom of my very soul, no matter how withered and black it might be, uh, I don't aim to go out and offend people and upset them. Um, there's certain 
categories of people I don't mind offending or upsetting, but by and by, I just try to get get along, okay? Uh, I got enough shit in my life to fucking deal with than to go out and start arguments with people on the internet. Savvy? So, we're simple. I'm simple. Um, you know, like I said, I temper myself quite a bit, especially on the how-to videos. Just to remain sociable. So, I kind of wanted to... One, shout out to uh, Underground Auto One. Uh, cool dude. I dig watching his videos. He's up there with, with uh, Rick, the Rick Fix. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not a statement of I don't care about my viewers or viewership. Um, quite frankly, what we make off of YouTube... Uh, before this camera completely shits out, I won't have made enough to replace the camera. I'm not bitching. I feel blessed that I get to make a couple bucks on something I enjoy doing. Something that shamelessly plugs my shop and my work. Uh, communicating with all you guys. But the fact is, it's not like it's a money issue for me. Um... It's, it's not because I don't care about viewership. It's not because I don't, you know, want to delight and tickle my viewers. But uh, apparently I shock some folks sometimes. And that's okay, too. I mean, sometimes we need a good fucking shock in our lives. Every now and again, people need to be reminded uh, there's a paddle for everyone's ass. Uh, I get reminded of that constantly. All right, so... Did that cover it well enough? I, th I think we're good. Uh, going with that, I'm still going to cover some uh, issue, dilemma, everything else, current topic, whatever. Coffee. As it just so happens, we're uh, down in my back cave. Uh, recording on Saturday night. I want to actually edit and, and try to do something more than just hitting that record button and dumping that on the internet. Now with that we got our shop recap. It seems like Friday, uh, last Friday's recap wrap up in the shop with Jeremy was was fairly um, desirable. Is that the right word? We didn't do it this week. Uh, Friday rolled around this week, and it was a whole lot of fuck it all going on. Um, we had, progress-wise, we had a great week. We got a lot done in the Monty. got headway on the Camaro. As you saw the walk around, uh, if you didn't see the video, check it out. Um... We got some more stuff stacked away, organized, whatever. Um, but really, no. I did get one piece of new work in. I built racks for my buddy Jeremy on that trailer. If you look at them, the removable racks are inch and a quarter, 11 gauge steel. Problem. Big fucking problem. They're not sturdy enough for what he does to them. So they're still removable, but instead of four posts, there's actually two. One on each end, slide up and out. Uh, K braced and to each other to support the middle purlin. And then I have a brace on the front that bolts to a shackle I built on the frame on the trailer and then bolts right to the arm. And then on the back, how they were sitting, where they were sitting, I really couldn't get a bolt nut assembly, so I used half inch bar and rosette welded so it's a hinge. And they just kind of lay down on the trailer when you're all done. So, um, that was the only thing we had through this week. And it was, I bet I had all of a day and I couldn't really charge it to that job. We didn't lose money by any means and Shipley takes good care of us and always brings us something to do. Um... Saturday afternoon, uh, the Trotter couple came out and visited. 
looked over the money. We're looking at that. They, of course, want to know a finish date because we're behind. Um, what do you do? So, uh, we're grinding away. We're getting headway. We're moving forward. I got some cool shit to show you guys. I'm so excited to get this Monte Carlo down on its wheels over to the paint side. Another thing up on the list is I want to talk about this raffle. I wanted to get something going by now. I wanted to have the raffle next weekend, actually. It's not going to happen, all right? The raffle's going to happen, not wrapping it up next weekend. <laughs> um, raffle. Buy Kenny a fucking camera already. Uh, this iPhone. Come on. We need to get this guy moving with some real gear. Please. Please. Listen up. Holler out. Get all your friends. Um... It's going to be five bucks a throw, five bucks a ticket, or a, a chance, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I'm going to get with Kenny. we got to get him a uh, mail two out there in Redondo Beach. He's going to drop the uh, names all in a hat, fishbowl, um, swallow them all and regurgitate one. I don't know how he's going to do it. Ping pong balls, feed them to a... a dog and the first one at least I don't know so we're gonna figure that out we do know this five dollars a throw um, let's see what we can do to get Kenny uh, heading towards a camera I'm not saying we're gonna have 40 people show up or, or 20 people wanting two tries or any shit like that but let's see if we can get this moving in the right direction Kenny needs a leg up he's been a good brother so I want to get that moving. Um, we'll get the address. He'll he'll see this tomorrow or Wednesday or whenever he watches it. Uh, yell at Kenny. Go over to Street Rider 100. Um, let's get this thing moving. I want to get Kenny into a camera that he can actually edit footage and and get. I think he's going to be able to do a lot more. And I'm really excited to see what he's going to do with with some real hardware. So again, uh, we'll get a mail to address out at Redondo Beach for Kenny Miller. Uh, it's going to be five bucks a chance. Uh, the end date. You know what? Fuck it. Let's uh, let's see here. I'm curious now. I'm looking at the cal calendar. Damn. April Fools is on a Monday. I don't know. Maybe we'll see if he wants to uh, close it on April Fools. That would be kind of fun. That'd be fun all by itself. So we're gonna see. We'll get with the street rider, see what's going on. Uh, pass that new stuff. Um, so our United States, our U.S. This I'm in America. Uh, apparently, apparently we can get away with sticking our nose in everybody else's fucking business in the world. To no real profitable avail to the average common man. Oh, there's profits. Don't fool yourself there. Government never does anything without some substantial gain. But, apparently if uh, Russia wants to poke their nose in someone else's damn business, it's, it's uh, whoa, whoa, we're crossing the line there. So let's see if we're going to try to stretch out the three fronts as a nation at war. That should be interesting. I've got great concerns there. I'm seeing a new Cold War. Could be fun, you never know. If we get a new Cold War going, does that mean we have a new moral majority thing happening? <laughs> I think we all need to bust out the Dead Kennedys albums for this one. Um, shit, you know. I'm not really upset, excited, or anything else about much else going on in the world, so... <laughs> We've been rolling now, I don't know, about 10 minutes. So I've got 20 minutes of footage. Might be worth watching. Uh, what I'm most interested in is, especially from diverse places on the globe, drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing. I've seen a lot of new subscribers lately, and not a lot of new comments, which is no big deal. I don't comment on all the videos I watch. I don't thumbs up all the videos I watch. I don't thumbs down. You gotta be fucking up if I'm gonna thumbs down a video. Um, and it's never been from within the garage. 
Um, let me see here. Uh, I just, yeah, I'm back to my point. I want to get you guys input. Give me a topic. Give me something to, give me a question on a subject I ain't covered. Um, if I have to research it, I will. Fuck it. That's the fun part of it all. Um, I can guarantee I'm an authority on nothing. There are several things I am a professional at. A few things I am expert at. Actually, there's more things I'm expert in than I am professional in. I had a trade once prior to working on cars. Cars was my hobby. It's how I relaxed and unwinded and, and, and I enjoyed it. I, st I still enjoy it. Um, but I was a carpenter for fuck a lot of years. And, you know, I couldn't go back to that. Not now. It, it, the, the industry burnt me. You got mechanics and bodymen out there. The industry burns them. Uh, people got guys. Have, people have painted themselves in corners where a career change is not an option. Me, it wasn't an option, but it was the only option. So again, I guess I am technically expert in more shit than I am professional in. Um, huh? Do the best I'm able. When I know better, I do better. Uh, I'm not a judgmental prick. I don't try to offend people. But generally speaking, this me is a hell of a lot more tame than what uh, your general public has to deal with. Those poor bastards. Um, I don't know. Maybe I've just grown bitter in my old age. I don't tend to take a lot of shit out of situations and um, I don't know maybe I should do the bubblegum pink 7 inch mohawk again alright folks I'm going to sign out uh, enjoy your coffee have a great day go out there and do something that matters to you at least fulfill your soul that's a mission this week. Fulfill your soul. Come back here. We're keeping this this PG-13 at least, okay? We don't need to know about Debbie does anything. Fulfill your soul. Come back here. Report to us what you got into. Could be fun and interesting. Maybe somebody will steer you in a good direction for new uh, technique or product, material, parts. Um, you know, as the old Red says, we're all in this together, folks.